Annyeonghaseyo! Curious about the Philippines and Korea? Our podcast is for you! Annyeongkwento mo! is a podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Hosted by Lloyd and Jazz, be amazed and inspired with different stories yet to unfold. Listen to our podcast only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Do you have a story to share? Well then, here is Anyong Kwento Mo, Kyung Min Kim, Episode 2. Anyong, I'm Lloyd. And Anyong, I am Jan. So, the day has finally come because we are now on our second episode of Anyong Kwento Mo podcast. So, Jazz, if I were to ask you ngayon, ano ba yung nararamdaman mo na nandito na tayo sa second episode ng ating podcast? Who would have thought that we will be together in a podcast? Can you imagine that? We, <laughs> it's not in our plans. It was just an idea na popped up sa mind ni, ni Sir Nash. And then here we are in having our first recording but for ano episode 2 can you imagine that it's really unbelievable kaya I, I can't yeah. believe it right now i mean diba uh, for the longest time that we have the pinoy soul radio parang if we're going to take yung time before diba parang it's just music yung pinay place radio station but siguro naisip din na why not give something new to, to the audience and now andito na tayo diba we now have the podcast and I guess for Pinoy Soul Radio, this is something big to celebrate because, parang you know, we're part of the history, and you know, it's really an honor, diba, to for us na tayo ang naging part ng uh, first ever podcast ng Pinoy Soul Radio. Yes, diba, it's parang life changing, <clears throat> don't you think? Yeah, I, I think it's very life changing, talaga, because si Rabi mo akong nina, diba, uh, as interns. Wala talaga tayong idea na we will be doing a podcast pero I guess this is something unexpected that no one saw it coming and by the way pala you know to our uh, listeners who are tuning in right now uh, sana you know nakapag-take na kayo ng breakfast niyo or even coffee and I hope you are doing well and so sit back relax and enjoy the podcast and also make sure to stick with us till the end of the show but uh, before we start Lloyd I would first like to know is there a language you would like to learn? Maybe you saw it in a film and you thought this guy was cool and then you said, ah, oh, one day I will be like that guy. Like, or language. I'll, oh. Like, uh, I'll learn honest, Japanese. Ganun. Some, well, to be honest, instant. you know, uh, over the past, how many years have we in the pandemic? Two or three years? Like, I, I guess, think three? Yeah, three years, diba? Parang sa, sa, sa mga past years na yun, parang I've been really into uh, watching a lot of series and movies and so kung maglalearn man ako ng language I guess Thai language since I'm really yeah. invested to you know watching a lot of movies and series to that to the country of Thailand and just to add then na parang aside from their language na ang nakahook din sa akin is the culture I think na mentioned ko to sa'yo before na parang right after the graduation parang I was you know, having a plan parang some, somewhere after that graduation, I want to go visit and, you know, just to experience the magic in Thailand, di ba? Parang ganun. So, lately, parang dun talaga, yun yung language na gusto kong um, matutunan. Ikaw ba, Joss, if I'm going to ask you, ano yung language na parang ah, gusto ko tong matutunan? Kasi, you know, uh, we've been friends for a long time na din since we are college classmates. So, Pansin ko parang, I'm guessing it's, you're going to answer is Korean, if I'm not mistaken. That is true because as a K-pop fan, like for, since the 2010, yung era na yun, uh, iba din, I think na you'd listen to this sound, to this music, without looking at uh, a screen na ano ba meaning nun? True. Sinabi ni, nung bias, ganun, let's say. <laughs> 
<laughs> ano kaya pinili nyo? So, it's nice na through audio, like, ah, yung pag, when we hear English songs, like, ah, that's what Taylor Swift meant. Alam mo yun? And then, of course, like, let's say, con- we, we watch contents like run BTS, uh, NCT Live. Oh, yeah. Hindi, di ba? <laughs> And then yung pag tumawa sila as like fans who don't know the language yung pag tumawa sila tatawa ka na lang din. So Yeah. <laughs> so it's hard na yung uy tumawa si J-Hope, sige tawa na lang din ako. <laughs> and then alam niyo yun, that's a current uh, struggle ng fans and then we also rely on Twitter to these Korean fans or maybe multilingual fans na naghintay tayo ng translations. Siguro minutes pa because of course, hindi naman yung asap na ita type pa nila yun. So learning a language is like for me the first step to getting to know the culture na din. So yeah. that's I think if pupunta ka or you're deciding to move to like a country like siguro Thailand, learn the language first para you know how to get around. And to add na lang then since you mentioned that in yung uh, struggles, you know, ng mga K-pop fans na hindi talaga aware sa sa Korean language. Even I myself nakaka-relate kasi you know, yun nga na mention mo na yung Run BTS, di ba? Parang lately lang din ako na hook sa BTS and nung time na yun na parang I was trying to catch up with all, you know, the, the contents na ni-release nila right before na naging fan ako. Parang kapag merong halimbawa, out of nowhere, di ba, nagla-live ang BTS sa sa V Live. And so yeah. wala kang makikita automatically na translation na lalabas since it's live. And so your fallback talaga in order for you to understand kung ano yung sinasabi nila is on Twitter which is diba I guess our listeners are very familiar with this na meron talaga mga uh, fan accounts na dedicated for solely for the translation ng idols nila diba yeah unless one of the members like si RM yeah. he spoke English so diba? saka, oh. like oh that's what he said so, and for what? the ano naman you know when you go travel naman parang one of the the list you can do para mafeel naman nung um, mga tao na nakatira dun sa country na pupuntahan mo na you, you appreciate their um, language and their culture is, is to learn the basics at least ng language. When you travel naman sa isang country, hindi ka mga pwede magdala ng translator, di ba? Naka, nakasama mo sa aeroplano or even, di ba? Pag mag, mag-travel ka. So, the least you can do is to uh, learn the basics kahit yung hi, hello, good morning, para lang, di ba? Thank you, especially. Thank you, oo, di ba? Para you can... Uh, somehow start a conversation with them and I guess from their end parang oy wow nabi naman wow nakaka, <laughs> diba parang mas maa-appreciate nila lalo ikaw as a, a traveler or someone na outside from their country na who is really trying to learn their language or even not, not just their language but even their, the, the culture diba yes and so much for that <clears throat> no let's not keep his fans <laughs> waiting why not yeah, introduce our guest for this episode of Anyong Kwento Mo. Okay, so for our dear listeners who are tuning in right now, our guest for today's podcast, he is a Philippines resident Korean host, singer, YouTuber, and variety artist. He was a part of the Philippine K-pop convention last year and was the host for this year's K-Nected Forever along with Green Kim. He speaks three different languages, Korean, English, and Filipino, which surprises people. But they, they get even more surprised with his weird but entertaining energy. He loves talking to people and learning about other people's experiences and thoughts. Please welcome ang pambansang bunso, Mr. Kyung Min Kim. Wow! Hello! <laughs> welcome to Thank the podcast. You. Hello po! Welcome, welcome po to Anyong Kwento Mo podcast. Mr. Uh, Kyung Min Kim, kamusta ka naman ngayon? How's the oh, life lately? Na Oh, mabuti, mabuti naman po. <laughs> mabuti naman. Uh, and, and, and before we start, no, I just want to say thank you, uh, Jazz and Lloyd, for having me here. Nagulat na ako sa invite kasi uh, ang kwento mo, uh, anong kwento mo? Sabi ko, mara- wala naman akong kwento eh. Post lang ako eh. <laughs> Pero, yeah, nung nakita ko yung mga questions mo, uh, I just briefly went through it. Sabi ko, wow, uh, maybe it's time for me to as well uh, share my story as well. And nagulat din ako sa sinabi mo na Jazz, uh, who would have thought, diba? that we would be in this episode? Uh, bottom, uh, at the bottom, from the bottom of my heart, maraming salamat po for the invite. Thank you din no, po but, for but, accepting. Yeah, but thank you din for accepting. Kasi diba parang, sino ba kami para, you know, tanggapin? Like <laughs> someone like you. 
Di ba parang we're, no. we're, just, in, we're just interns. And, interns lang po kami. Oh, and then, you know, wow. No. 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 <laughs> Yeah, no, you can always, always reach out to me. That's amazing. Ah, uh, Deva, Mr. Kim Win Kim, we just <laughs> want to know uh, for the first question uh, to start this uh, podcast. How will you introduce yourself to the people who will just get to know you right now? Like somebody who doesn't really like no, attend no. these uh, Korean uh, events. How will you introduce, like, let's say to a uh, no, regular person? Well, uh, I have this one catch line that I've always done. Uh, sa mga events ko, sa mga meetings, even sa YouTube channel ko, which is kind of explains everything about myself. And it goes, uh, is it okay? Yeah, sure. Cute. Yeah, sure. Ako isang Pilip. Ah, wait lang ha. Kinakabahan ako kasi big star kayo dito eh. Oh, God. Balik tag po ata. Ako po isang Pilip- uh, ako po isang Koreano dito sa Pilipinas na may salamin na wala salamin pero minsan pogi pero eh, hindi naman ako pogi ngayon ako po ay si Kim Min Kim. Ayun. Eh. So yung catch line na yun ang ginawa ko yan kasi um uh, salamin na wala salamin who would have thought, 'di ba? Who would even imagine we're in classes na walang salamin. Okay, wala po na lawan. Wala <laughs> Ah, uh, kaya medyo makulit po ako at uh, marunong din ako mag-Tagalog and uh, gusto ko rin yung parang parang pogi ako. Alam mo yun? Like, I want people to see me as pogi, hindi yung parang ay bata or cute. Or, but although I'm thankful naman that they find me cute. But you know, uh, I want to be that opa figure, the ba, Josh? Di ba? Parang si Jungkook, V, J-Hope, di ba? Go BTS. Tan <laughs> <laughs> opa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Nice to hear, po. Yes, and you know, I, I I know our listeners are very curious, lang then. Uh, what is your life in Korea before deciding to come to the Philippines, po? Wow, that's like. Uh, also, I've I've been to Korea back and forth. Um, it's been 13 years since I've been oh, living wow. here in the Philippines. And, well, I can probably say pino ako sa Pinoy po ako, kasi mas mas komportable po ako dito sa Pinas. Dahil yung buhay ko don sa Korea before, although bata pa ako nun, competitive, competitive and stressful. Kaya gusto ko lumaya sa tudod, dahil uh, alam mo yung anxiety, caga lahat ng mga tao na kinausap mo ay competition. Hmm. Uh, well, during during my time, although I'm, I'm not that old, I'm not old, I'm not old at all. But during my time back in when was that? Like 2007, 2008, K-pop wasn't a big thing yet internationally. Korea was developing as a country as well. Ako is a uh, bilang isang grade school student ako nun. Wow, it's uh, kung may day in, day in my life vlog ako nun, grabe, maraming views yan. <laughs> I would wake up at 7 a.m., go to school at 8:30, uh, start class after like 2 or 3 p.m. Pagkatapos ng classes ko, uh, I would go straight to English class, English class, and then for an hour or two, go back to Taekwondo class, the National Martial Arts. Yeah, um, and although I'm thankful that I'm a black belter now, uh, it was very stressful. <laughs> It was very stressful. Yeah, I took one the class and then uh, singing class, and then I would go home. Fast forward at two or three a.m. and I would wake up again at seven a.m. So parang ano siya? Parang college life dito sa Pinas. Pero great uh, Korean grade school student person. Uh-oh. Oh. So toto yung mga toto yung mga K dramas na na you're watching, no? Oh, and they go to yeah. Hagwon uh, Institutes. Toto opu yan. Mm-hmm. But, but you know, in the span of you know 13 years living here in the Philippines, was there a time that you felt homesick and just wanted to go back to Korea? Definitely. Mga instances, yeah. Be sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I would. I, I, I have so many instances that I talked to OFWs, hmm. and uh, as well as uh, uh, Nash, Nash, Nash Young, right? Nash Young, He's also uh, yeah. basically Filipino working abroad. Yes. Uh, I'm not a fan of living in Korea 
like as a resident um no offense to anyone thinking that i'm not liking my own country i love my country but um it's just it's different when you're inside the society oh yeah it's different like from looking from outside wow k-pop baka kung pagdating ko sa incheon airport maraming opas alam mo yun maraming fashion. k-pop di ba idols yeah idols yung mga fashion nila grabe bongga di ba mm-hmm. but when you're inside and once you feel like uh, you're not at par with the people living there you would you would feel very small of yourself Okay, that's that's one thing that doesn't make me homesick. Okay, that's like one only major thing. But looking from another perspective, ako, I'm honestly, uh, uh, I was homesick nung nagsimula ng pandemic. Kasi lahat ng mga friends ko, um, umuwi na sa Korea. Ayan. So that's the only reason na ano po, uh, you chose Philippines na pang... That's well, uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of dangerous for me to say that's the only reason. Um, the list goes on. If you ask me, why did you choose Philippines? No, but if you ask me the question, do you miss Korea or or is there a reason why you're not in Korea? Then that's my answer. That you know, I I felt very small of myself. Yeah. Well, it's good to know, naman, de ba? Like you know, with all those. All those uh, experiences and challenges that we've encountered, right? At least yeah. now we're happy, and I, I guess it's important now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, before we, uh, guys, we move forward. The next question, uh, Mr. Kim Min Kim, can I just say you're really good at speaking Filipino? Like, ako, Grazie. I am. Deb, <laughs> Deba. Oh, Deba. I, I, I am sweating right now. Let, let's say, may masa, baka sabi. Baka may masabi si Mr. Kim Min Kim na like, ako like, ano daw? Oh, <laughs> Saka lang hindi nakagirat. Like, oh, okay na ako sa lang ko right now. And I think that's so amazing. And to you know, those listeners who will be listening to this podcast, Mr. Kim Min Kim, ah, like, ah, debak. Ang galing yun. Grabe. Grabe. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Grabe. Uh, uh, and with that, can you tell us when was the first time you realized that you wanted to learn uh The Filipino language. Wow! The moment I arrived, the moment I arrived in the Philippines, that's the time I, I told myself. Because uh, my dad lived in states uh, for a couple of years, and he also lived in Malaysia before. And I was a very internationally influenced person. Tapos yung sinabi niya sa akin, uh, well, of course in Korean, no. <laughs> Kim Min, uh, the first thing you have to do when you go to another country is to know their language, right? Because everything starts from there. Learning a language is learning a culture, and learning the history of the country. Uh, I know the. Alam ko yung kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Cempre, kasi uh, nagschool ako dito. So going back to the sto- uh, the question, the moment I arrived in the airport, uh, this is a funny story actually. Because my dad's friend had a ri- driver, so we 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 asked uh, his friend to give us a ride. Tapos yung driver uh, yung driver ng van. I was talking in English. I can understand English, naman. I, I was I was good in English ever since. Pero sabi ko, nandito ta, nandito tayo sa Pilipinas. Pero English ang lang uh, lingua ay yung driver na yan. So sabi ko, oh, may, maybe I should learn uh, Filipino as well. Tapos yung day na yon, I went to Divisoria. Pumunta ako sa Divisoria. Yung mga sinasabi ng mga kuya. Uh, hindi ko alam uh, pero hindi ko naalala yung mga sinabi nila uh, I, I actually talked about this uh, TikTok pero alam mo yung tingin nila sa mga foreigners especially back in 2009 yung mga tingin nila sa mga foreigners parang hayo pa ho <laughs> parang <laughs> may something parang, may so, something different kasi yeah. eh, before I was whiter pa I was whiter I was small mas singkit pa ako noon so I feel like they were playing a guessing game. Kung Chinese ba yan? Ah, hindi. Japanese ah. ata yun ha. Ne, 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 ne. Koreano yan. Kasi ano, uh, medyo puti. Ganun. So, that day on, I, I, I told my my dad that I want to go to an institute to learn Filipino. And he said, okay, that's a good choice. But why do you want to learn? I said, dad, I want to know what they're talking about me. Mm, yeah. I, what if, di ba? What if they're saying that, pangit ako, di ba? 
Oh, hindi ka makakalaban. So yeah, uh, I need to learn what they're talking about me. And that day, and until now, talking to you in Filipino, sobrang proud ako. Sobrang uh, satisfied ako sa mga ginawa ko dito. Congrats. Sa- yeah. Kami din naman, we're proud. You see, parang mas magaling ka, mag- magaling ka pa sa amin mag-Tagalog. Hindi <laughs> ako. Hindi, hindi po. Mabubulol pa kami ng... <laughs> At least you're aware, di ba? Parang hindi ka, you will not let yourself na parang uh, kapak-kapakan ko or mm-hmm. alam man yung sabihin sa'yo ng ibang tao. So, Tsaka yun din yung tip ko sa mga Filipino who will go to Korea after, uh, hopefully, uh, pandemic ends and go to Korea. Uh, learn the basics. Uh, you don't need to be like good in pronunciation, di ba? Uh, the first time I learned English, the teacher told me, hey, you don't need to be good in pronunciation kasi ang lengguahe, para sa communication. It's just for you to send a message, di ba? Uh, and, and I'm pretty sure all the Koreans will appreciate when you speak kahit anyo nga sa'yo, uh, or, or kamsamita, or mayo, mga ganitong basics that will really impress uh, everyone in, in Korea. No, okay. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> so now let's talk about naman your um, hosting talent. I mean, it's obvious ah. that you have done numerous hosting gigs all throughout your career. So I'm curious, lang, who inspired you to become a host or a variety show talent here in the Philippines? Uh, uh, honestly, Ryan Bang. Ryan Bang. Um, I, I've only met him like once. Uh, personally, but I, I'm not even sure. If I can this, but uh, he really inspired me because he, uh, he, the moment I went here, uh, there were some rumors among the Korean in, in the co- Korean community. Uh, there's a Korean who is very active in, in TV industry and mm-hmm, yeah. in the showbiz industry. At hindi pa siya sikat nun. Um, more like building pa siya. Tsaka, sobrang ano siya, sobrang payat niya nun. Si Ryan yeah. Bang. Oh, oh. So prang payat ni nun. Ah, uh, he really inspired me because I never imagined that a foreigner can kind of uh, receive so much love yeah. from the locals um, and be accepted as 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 a family. Because Filipinos are very family oriented. It, it's I can say like uh, Filipinos are top one with hospitality and uh, you know family oriented oriented. So si Ryan bang nung, nung well, kahit uh, sabi ng mga ibang tao na bulol siya. Hindi siya bulol. Hindi, hindi siya bulol when you talk to him personally. Direct siya. <laughs> Pero uh, you know, looking at him uh, as a as a very young kid, he, he he was a very big inspiration to me. I guess yun yung uh, one good thing with the Filipinos. They are very open and they even appreciate the talents that is not really, you know, uh, hindi, hindi nang galing or not really produced by the Philippines. So, uh, I just want to ask then, uh, with regards to uh, your experience uh, with the hosting here in the Philippines, uh, when was the first time? Po? And how was it? My f- oh, my first time. Uh, it was for the... When was my first time? Oh my god. I started very young, so... Oh, wow. Uh, I think it was for Korean Cultural Center as well. Yeah, yeah, the, the KCC Caravan. That was like my major debut event. Which I want to also uh, say thank you as well to uh, the the CEO of Philbt Philippines and Korea. And um, they were the one who really introduced me to this kind of things and gave me so many opportunities. Although I wasn't able to say this much to them. Um, but I really want to appreciate them for for giving the opportunity. Yeah, uh, KCC Caravan was my first first uh, event that gave me a label host. Ako. How was the experience? Uh, like, ano ba? Uh, kinabahan ka ba, or was there any uh, struggles with your first time hosting? Uh, the only struggle that I had was that I was too excited. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I was I was I think 19 or 20 when I when I had that event. Ola ako stage frights. So that's one of the things that I'm very thankful for my parents. Ola <laughs> ako <laughs> stage frights. <laughs> I can relate. Can relate. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it may sound like I'm I'm mayabang ako, pero I don't know. Uh, my stage fright ako kung hindi ko alam ano yung nangyayari sa sa mga script ko. Uh, ask anyone, ask anyone who has done with events with me. 
uh, most of the times I don't follow the script. Oh, <laughs> and they hate me for it. <laughs> well, uh, well, I I think uh, it depends on the event. Like there are events that the clients want you to follow the script. Mm. No, but uh, most of the times my my kind of style of hosting is blending it uh to my to my style. Yeah. 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 So how about challenges for and like uh hosting like throughout your career in hosting was there challenges can you please tell us Uh challenges uh struggles mm, there was a time that I had a a pause in my hosting career it was when when the pandemic started um prior to the pandemic I, uh, although I wasn't active as well as a uh, hosting industry I was active as a translator uh, of, of different k-pop events um f- like uh, through that I was able to consistently maintain yung Tagalog skills ko pero nung umpisa ng pandemic ayun uh one big struggle really uh, hit me for I think two years time uh I just recently recovered from it but it's a uh, identity crisis Uh, I can I can honestly say that most of the people here in the Philippines na Korean pero marunong magtagalog tsaka naka-blend in yung yung pagkatao niya sa Filipino culture that once in their lifetime will have identity crisis yeah. and I was a very big victim of it why I'm Korean right when I go out people identify me as Korean but I can speak Filipino language right yeah. uh, and I think mas comfortable ako sa at mas sanay ako sa mga Filipino culture and yung mga yung mga stories ng mga Filipinos compared to Koreans dahil I went here when I was 12 or 13 years old. When you ask me like a question, how do you identify yourself? I couldn't answer honestly until until like end of last year or or start of this year. I couldn't identify myself as Korean ba talaga ako? <laughs> hindi naman ako hindi naman hindi naman ako kabisado sa mga yung mga trend ng Korea kasi I, I I am exposed to Filipino culture more. And that I think could be a possible problem, struggle of OFWs as well. Identity crisis. And it goes beyond that. I had to stop hosting because hindi ko alam kung sino ba talaga ako. At ibig sabihin, hindi alam ng mga audience kung sino ba ang host nila. At uh, ang mensahe at yung mga client ng mga events, wala silang focus dahil sa akin. Dahil sa identity crisis ko. So parang domino effect siya. So I had to stop and give myself time. Alam mo yun, um, host ka, uh, koreano ka, pero yung uh, uh, soul mo, pusong Pinoy. Kaya dapat lapitan mo yung mga Pilipino people Uh, in, a, in such a way that you don't fake yourself. You're just you, Kim Min Kim. Like you're just you, Jazz. You're just you, Lloyd. Right? We may be pretending to be, you know, um, upright and kind of disciplined right now because formal siya. But not to the point that if fake mo yung yung identity mo, whatever that identity you have, and you know, that's that's one of the struggles that I had. As a host, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mejo, mejo, malalim siya. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay, po. Actually, we enjoyed okay. nga yung ano you sharing your story. Buti nga din po, like you know na ah, uh, this is my problem, and you pang na address nyo siya. You had to stop, and that's that stop is like the uh, reflection, ano, and then you bounce back. That's the yeah. Good yeah. Thing good. About it, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 just to add there, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but. Uh, I just want to thank. Um, I don't know if you know her, but she's a very, very famous as well uh, content creator, Miss Kim. Yeah, Kim actually know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really want to thank her because I had a very deep, heart to heart conversation with her, and that's one thing she told me. She told me, "You are the only one who can change yourself. No matter how how much, that's just influence. Ano lang yun? Pagdagdag lang sa pagkain mo. Pero yung medumis mo ng pagkain mo." Ikaw lang mismo pwede palitan yun, di ba? And also with uh, Sandra Jung. Sandra, uh, she's a very close nuna of mine as well. Very consistently supporting me. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you to them. They will hear this, Po, and then... Hopefully. 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 Yeah, hopefully. They will, they will. I will, I will, send, the other, I will send the link to them. <laughs> <laughs> send the link. Moving on, Po. Next part of the podcast. I'm really uh, dying to ask this question. Pero buhay ka pa rin. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's your top energy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're one of the 100%. <laughs> Fighting po. Uh, uh, who are these? <laughs> who are these Korean celebrities you had a chance to meet or interview? And how was the experience? Um, I was able to interview like face to face the Rose, the Rose. Oh, yeah, it's a band. it's a rock band. Yeah. yeah, and I was a translator like side by side of Lee Song Jung, Lee Song Jung, uh, actress. Uh, and I also well, there are many 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 acts, uh, celebrities I've met like like Park Bo Gum. Um, oh. Well, I've watched IU's concert as a translator of the stage. Um, <laughs> yeah. There, there are many to mention. The list goes on. And how was my experience? Hmm. Did you freak out or fanboy? Ah, you yeah. Or chill lang, parang hi. Alam mo, alam mo yung well, hindi ko alam ha. Hindi ko alam. Jan, sorry Lloyd. Alam mo nasa mall ka? Oh. Okay. Tapos you just walk, mm. and then nakita mo yung isang tao sa sa like at the at the corner of your eye. Mm. Yung tao. Tapos that person got, uh, catches your attention. Tapos you have you have to look for you to. Alam mo yun para kasi tapos when you look, there is this suspense na para. Pa tayo bad word. <laughs> oh my god, ang pogi niya, ang ganda niya. Para para may ganung moment, 'di ba? I'm yeah. sure you had one in your life. Yeah, yeah. Ganung experience ko sa lahat ng mga celebrities. Ah, oh, para para ha. Oh. <laughs> oh. And, and if I had to pick one kasi sobrang fan ako ni IU. Oh. Wow. Oh. Are we, are we breathing the same air? Like, dito sa, sa SM, uh, sa, sa, ano yan? Araneta, Colosio Mata siya eh. Sa Araneta. Oh, wow. Tao ba siya? Parang, parang siya, ano, parang doll lang siya, do? <laughs> like, so, I don't know, there's a glow. There's, she has just her own glow. Mapapastar. Yung world mo is, will stop. Yeah. Like, Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's and then your mind goes all white, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with ano po, uh, with hosting, what can you tell us? Yung ne- bang bucket list or next level goals niyo po? With I've always mentioned uh, the 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 Nuna that uh, who's been helping me that Nuna. I want to be like Ryan Bang, uh, standing in the stage of of S, uh, SM ano yun? Arena yeah. and uh, Philippine Arena and then Araneta Coliseum. Ako yung host ng mga ng K-pop idols, uh, actresses, fan meeting. Yun talaga wow. yung pangalan ko. What what I mean, is what certain event for like? Well, uh, I've wanted to. It's like transition time for me uh, to jump from as a trans, uh, translator to a host, not translator. No, because uh, labeled ako as a person translator and separately host. But I want it to be something uh, as a whole, as a package, right? Because um, the, the event goes better if the host speaks the language for the both parties. So one of the events that I'm eyeing on, hmm, that's a good question because I've never thought of it. Um, uh, sino kaya? Um, uh, kung kung may fan meeting si Ayu, ah, uh, kaya gusto ko yung post. Oh. <laughs> Ako na lang yung post. Jan, ay kung pufet pa kayo, ah, uh, you can yeah. wave your hands to us and then oh, show me the platform. Sana, sana. But anyways, uh, Mr. Kyung Min, you mentioned earlier that you are um, living in the Philippines for a very long time now. No? So uh, I just want to ask, what can you say about the Filipinos? So about the Filipinos, uh, the first word that comes to my mind is friendly. Uh-huh. Um, second word, loving. Uh, third word, um, uh, mahilig magbigay. <laughs> 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 May ilig sila magtikay kasi uh, very generous, very generous, very generous. Uh, I wouldn't have stayed here this long if the Filipinos were very bad to me, right? Mm. 
yeah, that's true. And the fact that I stayed here for 13 years speaks so much mm-hmm. of the Filipinos. A short, a short background is I love to go outreach programs before pandemic, no? Because now I'm afraid. I don't know why, but I'm afraid of COVID. Yeah. Uh, I I talk to different kinds of uh, indigenous people, mga IPs, cah yung mga aitas, mga tao dito sa Pampanga, sa Bulacan, sa sa mga uh, fisher fishermen, yeah. Uh-huh. Yung mga kwento nila. It inspired me really uh, to push myself sa buhay ko. No, because they're happy. Yeah. Right? Like, I don't know. I don't know why. Because my standard happy is like I should be able to provide for myself to the point that I'm satisfied with what I am provided with, right? Although my mindset kind of changed. I'm like, uh, I wake up, thank Lord. Uh, I have food on my t- uh, on my dining table. I have, thank you, Lord. Uh, I have dogs that makes me happy. Thank you, Lord. Um, you know these things, and that's how they think, pala. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. Words cannot express how how good Filipinos are. Yeah. And when regards to the Filipino culture, uh, nung first time mo nagpunta in the Philippines, what's that Filipino culture that surprised you the most? Yung di mo inexpect ganon, or you find it very interesting. <laughs> culture. Uh, I don't know if you describe this a culture, ah, pero yung system na jeep. Uh, is it a, part, it's a culture, right? It's actually yeah. part the jeep, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it has a history. It mm-hmm. has a history then. Ah, uh, cakay yung tricycle. Akala ko may ano dito, may war dito, kasi <laughs> yung Vietnam War, de ba? Ano yung ginamit nila para ano, de ba? <laughs> Transport ng <laughs> <Yung> mga tao. <laughs> yung talaga na yon, yung transportation system dito. Sobrang shocking. Tapos yung mga ano, the people who rides at the back of jeep ni grabe delikado. Inakasabit sa likod. Inakasabit, grabe sa likod. Ano yun? Uh, is it considered ano seating siya? Like, yeah, <laughs> dibayad ba yun or? Ilang ay may dibayad ba, ba yun? Nga, based on my experience, yung mga sumasabit talaga. Hindi na pinapabayad ng driver. Para oh. sa saan ka bumaba, eh di sige, go, magsabi ka na lang. Ah, uh, actually extra uh, lang. Extra. Uh, oh, para ganon. <laughs> Pero mahirap din kasi ngayon, eh, baka mamaya mag mag antawo don mag slip yung kamay mo dun sa hawak yeah that's yeah yeah exactly kasi may sasakyan pa sa likod mo so it's very dan- dangerous mm, 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 mm. I, think, I think yeah that's 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 that was interesting interesting because I, I'm not like saying this because I'm making fun of it yeah but I'm I'm, I'm saying this because the culture shift from alam mo naman Korea yung boss <laughs> dapat may takip eh yeah. <laughs> But the, the the moment I learned yung mga kasaysayan ng Pilipinas, uh, ah, ganito pala. Uh, this is why there is jeepney, this is why there is tricycle. How did you adapt to it? Yung, di ba, from the jeep, when, from the moment you came here, like, paano, paano, ano, paano po, like, nag-sink in? Okay. The, first, the moment I went here, I wanted to try. So I did. Kasi divisoria, di ba? How was it? Wow, like to all Filipinos watching right now, who uses a jeepney as daily transportation and tricycle? Big respect to you, really, really big respect. Dapat may dapat may puwet ka, like of sort ng vibration ng jeepney. Oh my gosh, that is so true. Oh, wow. Kung wala kang puwet, yung bone mo mag of sort ng vibration. Grabe yung Eh, hindi naman maayos yung daan dito sa Pilas, especially Divisoria noon, di ba? Back in the days, no? Bumpy. Uh, maraming, yeah. ano. And I would, um, I would make this kind of, uh, I would share these stories. And then from then on, I'm sorry, but sobrang na, na-shock ako doon. So I did not write much. But when I went to college, kasi UP Diliman, so mag-iipot ako doon. So I rode jeeps and every day for Francis. But then... What's this thing na ano po? You constantly practice. So, with knowing that from that experience, ano po yung until today that this culture or Filipino practice that you constantly use or a part of your everyday life. Mano. Mano. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mano. Yeah. Um 
Although, like nowadays, it's pandemic, so you know it's it's kind of dangerous to have physical contact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, back in the days when I used to go to different provinces and interact. Tsaka yung mga ano din, yung mga, when I, when I meet yung mga clients, pumano ako. Uh, it's, it's, it's a practice also in Korea, but it, it, it's just shown in a different symbol dito sa Pinas. It's very strong. Uh, it, it hits me very strong because friendly yung mga Pilipino, pero may respeto pa rin. Mm-hmm. Eh, Manahirap yung collab na yun. Kasi yung mga Amerikano, iba yung, iba yung, culture nila, iba yung tradition nila. So, even though, like, elders, may respect pa rin, but they still call by the name, right? Yes, For example, yes, yes. Uh, if, if my, my grandmother is, uh, grandfather is Kevin, so I was like, hey, Kevin, right? Yes, yes. But dito, dito sa Pinas, just like in Korea, uh, may po, opo, may mano. And that's what I practice. Kasi kahit sa mga kalye, uh, I, I, I always add po or opo. Because... It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better that I'm giving respect to other people. Yeah. So, uh, napag-usapan na natin with regards to the Filipino language, the culture. Mm-hmm. Now, let's move on naman sa Filipino food. So, uh, Mr. Kyung Min, uh, Kim, what is your top favorite Filipino food? Uh, kare Kare is the, my number one on the list. Oh, kare yeah. Kare. Yeah. Heaven. Heaven. The, the Cupids, the Cupids, two years ago during my birthday, uh, sent me kare kare. I finished it at one sitting. Wow. Uh, next is balot. Wow, I love balot. Mm. I don't know what's with balot, but uh, it's addicting, no? It's addicting, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kiki, I'm not a fan. Uh, uh, yung, ayun, uh, I forget the name. Street, street food. No, no, no. Uh, it's like a rice cake. Suman. Iko. Suman. 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 Oh, yes. I love suman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not so sweet. Uh, it's the sticky rice. It, that's the sticky rice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's like rice cake in Korea. I know it. Iko. Ako yung nakahula, Jazz. One point four. Sa akin ng Gcash mo para may price cash. <laughs> <laughs> One point for Lloyd. Yeah, yeah. Bawi ka later ha. Mahaba pa to. Uh, since, uh, di ba, uh, Mr. Kumin, you have hosted uh, a show na din along with some of the pop groups here in the Philippines. Parang, Correct. Yeah, di ba? I-, I saw it on your um, FB page, if I'm not mistaken. Na, I mean, before that, uh, we all know that K-pop is really, you know, in the mainstream ngayon. Not just yeah. in, in your country, but internationally. What are your mm-hmm. thoughts on K-pop? It's... It's uh, uh how, what's the word? It's a change. It kind of gave an impact to the change of generation. Oh, yeah. Um, few years, three years ago. Um, uh, honestly speaking, there were so many controversies. Hey, yung K-pop na yan, ano yan eh? Uh, duplicate ng K-pop Copy-cut or copycat lang ng K-pop. Mm-hmm. Every everyone had a very divided uh perspective on K-pop, but now. The P-pop artists proved it wrong. Yeah. Uh, yes. They proved them wrong. How did they change it, right? Uh, whenever I watch videos of different P-pop groups, that like, you know, VGYO, Bini, SP19, have to mention SP19, like dominating, yeah. uh, right? And 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 many other um, uh, Alamat is also there, uh, and people are interested in it. And uh, now that I think about P-pop, it's like. With the P-pop, um, I love how there are so many people standing up, standing up, and the culture and the message of the songs are in Filipino. Yeah, uh, Jazz, you said you, uh, you mentioned a while ago that you just laugh when other Fil- uh, Korean, when your bias laughs, even though you don't understand. But now, pop is closer at your hand. Yeah, uh, you can relate to them you can get uh, first-hand inspiration and motivation from them. And they portray a message that sometimes you can just take a break and enjoy the songs. Yeah. Um, so with the P-pop, I think it was like, it, it, P-pop also has a very long history, just so you know. Yeah. yeah it, it, like, I think it goes back to 10 or 15 years. It, it has a, it's a coming from an OPM generation. Mm. Now, P-pop is more like younger touches. 
just like how K-pop was able to dominate the world and talk to everyone around the world, and now people will know more through these talented individuals. Therefore, uh, as as a push of Pinoy as well, I support P-pop. Like I I I think P-pop is a way, yeah, to kind of imagine just like me, ah. Huh? Pumunta ako dito. Tapos, uh, they asked me, Oh, Kumi, Kumi, do you know BTS? That feeling of pride. Yeah, that like, you're so proud that, Uy, kababayan ko yan. Uy, ayan, uh, I, I understand what they're saying. And that will happen to you. Eventually, that will happen to you, Jazz and Lloyd. You go to Korea, you go to, I don't know, US, Canada, um, I don't know, other Southeast Asian countries as well. And then they will say, uh, tell you, Oh, you're, the, you're from the Philippines. Oh, I I love how SP19. Uh, I I love their songs. Uh, I I love Alamat songs. I know B, I love Bini songs. And and then that one thing you're just gonna say, kababayan ko yan. And and I'm telling you, in five years time, wow. Um, it's gonna be like big bang. It's like gonna be, it's yeah. it's gonna be like um, uh, uh, I don't know if you know like double S five hundred one or oh, Dix yeah. or you know these small groups. Before is now known to like K-pop oh, into the community, right? And there will be a K-pop community eventually around the world. Yeah, hopefully. So we're gonna ask about bashers, Oh. oh. Since, yeah. Since you're not someone originally from here, have you ever felt that? Yung kanina ha, like you didn't you mentioned na hindi mo na intindihan yung mga nasa di Victoria, so you learned. So how did you deal? Like, was there an instant na for yano to? Pang alam bino bule ako kada. Uh, yeah. How did you handle it? Well, talking about the bashers, I don't, I don't think I have much bashers. I'm not quite sure. Maybe because I'm not a big star yet, yet, <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I've, I've heard some, you know, um, uh, hurtful comments. Like, if I have to mention, like, hindi naman mukang Koreano to, hindi naman pang pang opa yung figure na to or 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 hindi naman tong totoong koreano ano lang peke peke lang yung yung koreano niya so how did I deal with them um, I was affected yeah I have to agree I have to I, I, I the moment I read it I'm affected because you know I it it sinks in right I cried a lot because um, I'm just doing what I love like why do I why do other people Have to say something bad about me, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm just doing it because I love it, right? But from there, I think I was I was too young for that kind of um, comments. Na tapos sabi ko sa sarili ko na I need self care, uh, and I, I think I trained myself to kind of look into my mirror and say that say the opposite of what they say. Hey. Ne, ne, Koreano ka, Koreano ka. Ne, 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 hindi ka pangit. Ne, ne, hindi ka pangit. Parang ganon yung practice ko. Because words are very powerful. They affected my time, but my words are stronger, so that I can change how I think. Uh, I cannot satisfy everyone, everyone existing in this world, right? I guess uh, we will proceed now to. This is a surprise, actually. We we did not told you. Hindi siya part ng plan. No sila damis ng plan. Actually, we, uh, part of this show is meron kami game oh. for, for the guests, and so uh, Jas and I prepared a, a little uh, something na game just to lighten up the mood. Kasi di ba parang tas tas ba tas ba ba na tayo kanina? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Maintain natin yung high energy. So uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Bill, this is the second episode of our podcast. We make sure that that it's going to be a uh, memorable then for you. And so, this game that you will be playing will test your knowledge and expertise in the Filipino language. Wow! The easy lang, like perfect then. So the mechanics are of the game. We have prepared 10 English words. Your task, Mr. Kim Min Kim, is to translate <laughs> these words into Filipino and Korean. Yeah. Very simple. Ako sayo eh. Kailangan ko ng dictionary dito eh. <laughs> like, kaya kaya mo to. I, I'm pretty sure because based on how you talk with Filipino, para na encounter mo to most of the most of these words that we will be uh, saying. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Go. Okay, the first word is uh, the word friend. So how will you translate friend in Filipino and Korea? 
Pwede ko na friend. So, <laughs> <laughs> friend. Pwede ko na. Mentor friend. Na. Kaibigan. Oh, si Kaibigan. Yeah. How about in Korea? Chingo. Chingo. Go. Oh. Chingo. Hmm. Uh, all friends. Sana all friends. <laughs> Next <laughs> word is picture. Ah, picture. Picture. <laughs> Imahe? <laughs> wow. Actually, yeah, yeah. Marami kasi yung anong picture parang sinin in Filipino. Imahe. Masa kang imahe, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Hindi ba, we ba Larawan? Thinking... Larawan is also picture. Yeah, ano Larawan. Larawan. Larawan, Mitrato. Yeah. Mitrato. Yeah. Yeah. Imahe po yung pinaka-deep. So, that's two points. Yeah. You're so deep. Hindi <laughs> 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 po namin naisip. Kaya so, actually, yung sagot mitrato. namin dyan, Mitrato lang eh. Tapos yung sa'yo, Imahe. Ah, ah Mitrato. Yeah. How about in <laughs> Korean po? What's... Uh, Sajin. Anyway, the, the third word is I love you. Pwede ko naman kaya mo. Oh. It's very easy. I love you. So, we're here up. Hindi ko alam. Love kita. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mahal kita. And actually, parang away na rin naman tayo sa how we will we translate it in Korean, right? I love oh, you. Everyone knows eh. Everyone yeah. knows. Sarang. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sarang eh. Sarang eh. The next word po is thank you. Magugulat ako if may ibang version ng thank you. Oh, baka may malalim pa yung thank you. <laughs> like yung mahay. Like, oh. yeah. But thank you in for the viewers and the listeners. Thank you is salamat mm. po. Yeah. Uh, How about uh, handsome and beautiful? Handsome, handsome and beautiful. Um, or you, two you separate can just words pick now. one. Or you can just pick one na lang. Ah, okay. Yung beautiful is uh, jazz. Wow. And handsome oh, wow. is Lloyd. Oh, may pasok wow. talaga. I'll remember <laughs> this. Recorded yun, ha? Recorded yun. Uh, I'll remember this. No, everyone's beautiful and everyone's handsome. Pero, um, beautiful is maganda and handsome is guapo or bulky yeah. or, or Lloyd. Oh, <laughs> a cumin, di ba? Oh. Oh. <laughs> how, how do you say uh, beautiful or handsome in Korean? Beautiful, ipuda, ipuda, ipuda. Lo, uh, just don't move ipuda. Very, very beautiful. Uh, handsome is Lloyd is very single. Oh, wow, too much information. Sige, balikan. Sige, bye. We're learning, de ba? Learn, we're learning. We're learning. We're taking notes. <laughs> uh, the next word for is awesome. Awesome. Hmm. Wala, but daming variation yun. Awesome. Um, I don't know. Is pasabog uh, awesome? Can it be pasabog, pasabog. or bonga or or bonga. I don't know. Like awesome, awesome can Actually, be translated it, in different ways. It depends. Ways. It depends then on how ano parang how you understand awesome in ano. I mean, how you express. Yeah. Pero actually, pa pa di siya. Ano ba just yung nayanda natin for tagalog ng awesome? Ah, ang tamang sagot Magaling. ay magaling. Magaling. Magaling, magaling is good. Mahusay? Mahusay, yeah. Ano? 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 Hindi daw. Ano? Ano daw? It's not. No, no, based on Google Translator, it's kahanga-hanga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, meron po tayong ano, misinformation dito sa podcast. <laughs> Kahanga. Kahanga. Yeah, dip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But magaling, mahusay, pwede rin. Husay. Yeah. Awesome. Pasok, pasok so, pa naman, pasok pa naman siya sa. Yeah, pasok. What's awesome in Korea? Awesome. Ah, uh, ma- magaling, magaling. Chota. 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 Chwayo. Chwayo. Yeah. Wow. This one, feeling ko ano to? It's a tricky word. Spoon. <gasps> oh my god. I have never no no like I I hear it like from my friends but yeah. I just say pay ako ng spoon. Sa ah, spoon S P U N. No. Spoon. No, may tagalog tayo na siya, ng spoon. Talaga? Oo. Ah, kutsara? Yeah. Oh. Kutsara ba 'yun? Ah, okay. Kutsara oh, yeah. spoon. Nice. Ano yung spoon? Ano yung fork? Tinidor. Ah, tinidor. Kuchara, okay. kuchara, tinidor. Tsaka tinidor. Kuchara, yeah. tinidor. Ah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. How about in Korean? Yeah, in Korean, uh, uh, spoon is sukarak. Sut, 
Sutkara. Uh, next word is. We're almost star. done. Let's do. Star. Star. Yeah. Star. You're a star. You're a star. <laughs> I'm a star. Oh. Ano, a star is. Uh, a star. In Tagalog, I. Between. Grabe yeah. talaga. I'm amazed. Iba, iba, iba. Between. How about in iba. Korean? Star is. What about a star? Ah. Pyol. P Y E O U L. Pyol. Pyol. Yeah. Okay, so we're now yeah. down to our last two words. Last two. Uh, money. Ah, money. Wala ko. <laughs> yung wala tayo. <laughs> yung wala tayo. <laughs> we're broke. <laughs> money in Tagalog is wala. wala. <laughs> Zero balance. <laughs> balance. Uh, pera. Sure. Pera. Yeah. Pera. Of course. And in Korean, it is. Pun. D O N. Pun. Don't. Oh, mm. Yeah. Give me money. Give me money. Don't say ah. May last, last word. word. Yes, it is. Ah, my last word. It's actually yeah. a singer. A singer. Are, as, yeah. Oh my God, the singer, the only singer. Oh wow. What's a singer in Tagalog? Oh man. Ah, uh, singer, kanta, kanta. Oh, ano ano yung? Kina kanta. Pakakanta? Ano yung ano, singer sa Tagalog? Parang... You have any Wait, to be... I think Or... I heard it. Yeah, you can do it. Naman. Pili ko. Ah, singer. I think hindi siya ano, usually ginagamit. Hindi mm. siya usually word. Uh, usually used eh. Ano yung singer sa Tagalog? It's actually mga, mga awit. awit. Mga awit! Kasi awit is ano. Awit is the thing. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Mga awit. Tawin no? Diba? Uh, mag, mag, uh, with... How about nice. Korean? Yeah, yeah. Korean. Kasu. Kasu. G A S U. Kasu. Kasu. Well, that was a fun game, um, yeah. Mr. Kim Min Kim. Thank but... you for participating in the game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the challenge din talik mga ah. Uh, oh, siguro mga eight mga eight around yeah. yeah. That score, that bad di ba for um, it's good. You passed. The game. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. But we are down to the last set of questions that we want to ask you. Uh, with all the challenges that you encountered, we all know that your fans have stayed by your side. Yeah. They're cupids. What is the your cupids. message? Your fandom, the cupids. Mm. What is my message to the cupids? Yeah. Um. I think. Um. Well, I always say sorry to them. You know, um. Because they stand by their kind of support for me but i don't support much i didn't support myself and um parang mahirap yun eh kung hindi mo mahal yung hindi hindi mo mahal yung sarili mo tapos yung ibang tao na minamahal mo ay parang ano diba it, it makes no sense right yeah and they did something that doesn't make sense and 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 and, and i'm first sorry for for keeping them kind of very 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 long time but i appreciate For them to kind of uh, let me um, find myself, basically, and they still accept who I am, yeah. because they've seen they've seen myself before, but I'm pretty sure they've seen myself change as well, and I'm a I I change as time goes by, and they also change as time goes by. But the fact that they did not change uh, during the span of time, I really, really, really appreciate it. Just for myself, because I really want to share who I am to the people around the world, right? So, thank you so much for all the cupids uh, who stayed very, very strong and tight. But I think 2022, I know, I claim that 2022 will be the year of us. Um, so, we feel the energy. I personally feel the energy coming in, and our lives are changing, right? So let's help each other. Uh, let's support each other. You, well, I don't consider myself as a star, artista, celebrity. No, because I'm just the same human being, right? Um, I just go on stage to give joy to people. I go down the stage, talk to people. Right, I buy stuff. I sell stuff. I do the same things. I go to the CR. I take a shower and I do the toilet stuff, deba. Right? <laughs> so we're all the same, right? Yeah. So um, this is a message for you too as well, Jazz and Lloyd uh, and all the cupids out there listening. Oh. Uh, 
reach out to me anytime. I may not be able to reply to you very very soon, like, but I'm still here. Yeah, as as someone who who uh, really really supports whatever you're doing. But oh. I mean, remember to stay. Yeah, I mean, for sure, the, the cupids will always support you. I mean, with all your um, achievements in life, I'm, I'm sure they are very proud, and you know, they will always stay by your side, talaga. Whatever happens, that's for sure. So, uh, before we wrap up this show, um, are there any upcoming projects or shows you would like to promote, or uh, you may include your social media accounts if you want to? Please do so. I do have a TikTok, but I don't dance. Uh, I do have a TikTok. I have a face uh, Facebook page as well, uh, YouTube channel. I am going to be uploading um, things by April. Uh, I am just slowly up uh, editing, and there will be a lot of storytelling and more on self uh, self care and wellness. The, uh, tips and the experiences that I've gone through, and additional to the things I have shared today, so you can find me with the uh, with the handle Kingmin Ph, and you can just search my name Kingmin Kim on YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoy my contents and see you guys there. Yeah, we will stay uh, tuned yeah. for that you know contents that you will be uploading on April. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. Jazz. Ayan, to our dear listeners, make sure you guys follow him on his social media accounts and pati na din sa iba niyong projects. Just to share what I realized today is that when you have a talent or maybe a hobby, like learning a language, anything you want to do, just share it to the world. Like what Kyung Min Kim did, our dear listeners. Yeah. And like just be yourself. Like don't mind what other people think about you. Uh, yeah, it hurts make make comments, but at the end of the day, you're you. Lam mm-hmm. you. That's what I. Hundred percent. Yes. Uh, that's what I had yeah. during this uh, episode. Well, ako naman, you know, as a as a host, uh, I have to agree with with what you realize. Pero can I just share then? Uh, I really admire those people like Kyungmin who really embrace the the Filipino culture despite having a different nationality. And you know, I hope Kyungmin becomes a reminder for all Filipinos na hindi dapat natin ikahiya yung culture natin as Filipinos, but rather we should promote it, embrace it in the best ways we can. Diba? Oh, that gave me a goosebump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> diba? yes, That's I true. agree. 100%. But one thing, one thing to rem, uh, to kind of remind yourself is, you should know who you are first before you put yourself to the to a diff to a different society. Because if not, then you're gonna get lost. Yeah. So appreciate yourself, and then appreciate your country, and appreciate your friends, your family, and that's when your your life package becomes complete. True. Uh, wow. Once again, Mr. Kyung Min Kim, <laughs> in behalf of Pinoy Soul Radio, we would like to thank you for accepting this invitation to our yeah. podcast, thank Anyong so Kwento Mo. And thank you for having me, and thank you for accepting my medal dalnes, no? <laughs> no it's, it's good, yeah. We enjoyed the show, the interview. Yeah. Yeah, thank and, you so much. And it's really an honor to be interviewing and hearing your amazing story about your life, and I hope Uh, your story your story inspired a lot of listeners today yes and also we would like to thank uh, our boss mr sir nash for uh, introducing us to mr kyung min kim yeah. and having the thought of this podcast he this was his idea actually oh. sir nash if you're listening if you're listening we made it <laughs> no you should be it. listening kuya nash you should be listening ano ba ikaw yung project head dito eh eh hindi ka nakikita yung mga project mo <laughs> yeah. Nash, okay, thank okay. you so much. Yeah, Kuya Nash, yes. thank you so much for this opportunity, and I'm just I'm just a message away, literally. Uh, thank you. And yes, uh, to our dear listeners and to Cumin to Cumin's fans, the, the Cupids who tuned in with us today, uh, maraming maraming salamat po talaga for for listening to our podcast. Well, you know, as much as we want to extend this podcast, our time is up. And that's it for this week's episode of Anyong Kwento Mo, Kyung Min Kim. Make sure to stay tuned with our next guest for the next episode. And 
for sure it's gonna be fun and exciting. That's for sure. And you know, I'm really excited for that. And also make sure to catch the other shows on Pinoy Soul Radio like PS Pa Request with DJ Samji every Monday and Pinoy Soul Top 20 that is live every Friday. So make sure to vote for your favorite K-pop songs by following the format posted on our Twitter account which at Pinoy Soul and also follow me on Instagram at Lloyd Bagus X. Jessica, do you like something to promote? Yes, Lloyd. Uh, we actually have an app, Pinoy Soul Radio for Android users. But don't worry, sa mga naka iPhone soon in iOS, you can catch the replay through that app of this podcast. Or if you don't want, visit the FB page or visit our website. Both is at uh, PinoySoul.com to get the latest updates with our latest content. Oh, and follow me on Instagram at J-A-Z-K underscore D-08. Just do it. Yes. Well, I guess uh, that's uh, it for today. This has been Lloyd. And I am Jess. And you are listening to Anyong Kwento Mo where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both Philippines and Korea. Tune in next week for another fun and exciting episode only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. You just listened to a Nyong Kwento Mo podcast with Lloyd and Jazz, where we talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Catch us again next time, only here on Pinoy Soul Radio.